I'm Alyssa Vingen Klein, and I'm the editor in chief of Fashionista.com. Our audience tends to be young people who either work in the fashion industry or people who aspire to one day work in the fashion industry. We kind of use the motto, like, we are our reader. We have eight editors, six of us cover the show's front of house. Hi guys. We are running around for probably 13 or 14 hours a day. Next show we're going to is Dion Lee. We just finished up at Gypsy Sport and now we're heading to J. Crew. Like right now I'm very freaked out about getting to a show on time because I was just at a show downtown and the show is at the plaza all the way uptown. We're heading to J's Blue. I have been covering New York Fashion Week in some capacity since September 2009. A lot has changed since then. I think we do a really good job of dividing and conquering. This is it. <laughs> During Fashion Week, I make sure that I look polished and presentable, and I'll wear lipstick. I'll sometimes just wear lipstick during the day. So like, I'm wearing lipstick today. Add a cat eye, because I think that changes everything, maybe. I guess I can kind of experiment a little bit with things that I want to wear, things that I want to put together. Everyone else is having fun with their own look, so I feel like I can get away with something. For our readers, what I'm looking for at the shows is stuff that's newsworthy. What's the angle? So last night I went to Jeremy Scott and it was a shit show. That's more interesting for our reader is, here's what it was like to be in a crowd of 100 plus people who had tickets who were turned away from the Jeremy Scott show. So I was just at Dion Lee with Maria. It ran a little bit later than I thought it would, so we hopped into an Uber and we are rushing uptown to the plaza to catch Christian Siriano, who I adore. People have turned going to shows, wearing cool clothes, into a job, which respect, honestly. No one's paying me to show up anywhere dressed. There was a time period when it first started where it was really inspiring because it was still so organic. Like anybody can wear Look 12 from Gucci head to toe. I'm interested in the people who can take an element from Look 12 of Gucci and then mix it with a vintage piece. I really appreciate personal style because it's such an extension of yourself. I think it's important for style to be fluid, so it should change depending on your mood and your day. Something Leandra Medine has said before is that she doesn't really know how to describe her personal style because it changes all the time depending on how she's feeling or where she's going or what she's doing. So it's been crazy. It's been a day in Fashion Week. Um, and this is my last stop, so I'm gonna go, but thank you for joining me. Bye!